Um, Bam, you you mentioned the heat and and the culture embracing the asshole in you, the, the embracing uh, just players that have a chip on their shoulder. When something like what happened, uh, whatever, 10 days ago, whenever it was between Spo and Udonis and Jimmy, when they were arguing over dinner reservations, how, <laughs> how, how quickly does your, does the team recover from that? Is that, does, is that something that lingers, you know, for games, for days, or, or are you guys, because of the foundation you've built, able to recover quicker? Yeah, I mean, because of the, the the foundation that we've built as as brothers, you know, it doesn't it, it doesn't last more than a day, and it shouldn't, because at the end of the day, it's all competition. Like we we we, we were losing. Like it, I mean, it was bottom line. We were losing, not playing to our standard, and. You know, at that point in time, you you, you know this, JJ, when you're losing and not playing like y'all are supposed to, somebody can lose it at any point in time. And then, you know, especially in our locker room, because we embrace dudes being themselves and being vocal and, you know, bring, bring that dog mentality every night, it can boil over. That was a – that's a that's a regular practice day to us, like – talk shit to each other all the time in practice like that's how competitive our practice is to the point like Spo Spo I have to break like he'll have to call off practice <laughs> like we're, we're just like that's just the hunger in us like it, it's just like nah like we want to win that bad and it was nothing personal in between like the argument like everybody just see like you know Spo going at at, at at Jimmy and then Jimmy going at UD, UD going at Jimmy, but you see the rest of us didn't overreact. It was the rest of us like, all right, like, you know, this is a regular Tuesday. We got to break each other up, let everybody, you know, settle down. And then we go from there. And then after that, we started to come back in the game. Like it, it just it just flipped the switch. It was like, all right, now everybody's upset. Let's see what this let's see, let's see what's gonna happen. Like I don't think Spo said anything the remainder of the quarter. Like I remember waving him off. Like you sending subs in, fuck no. Like let us play the whole third. Because at that point we had came back within like four points. Uh. But it, it doesn't last because don't know no, let's take it personal because at the end of the day, the main goal is to win. And that's everybody's main agenda. Like, as long as we win, we're cool. We're going to have we gonna have discussions. We're we going to have disagreements. We're going to have arguments that look, that's damn near going to be fights because we all want to win that bad. That makes sense. That makes sense. I, look, as a, as, a, as a player in the NBA, the older I got, I realized it's 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 okay if you only have you know each player should be allowed one or two blowups a year. It's just it it's too intense. There's too much pressure. It's a normal thing. Again, it, it you mentioned it happening in practice, and a lot of times it does happen in practice, or a lot yeah. of times it, may, it might happen in the locker room. I think what was unique about this is not that it happened; it's that it happened on the court. That's sort of what's u- unique about it. 